crazy Sunday afternoon. Phineas was lying on the grass while Ferb was feeding Perry the platypus. Phineas suddenly sat up, eyes wide. Ferb, what if we could actually talk to Pet? Ferb raised an eyebrow. He liked where this was going. Within hours, the duo had built a helmet with blinking lights, mini speakers, and a tail scanner. They named it the AI Pet Translator. Candace walked in. What is that weird thing? It's science, Candace, said Phineas proudly. We trained it using animal sounds and AI. Now it can translate what a pet is thinking or a feeling. They tested it on Perry first. Phineas placed a helmet on Perry's head. The speaker crackled. I want more snacks and also... I saw you hide that sandwich under the couch. Everyone gasped. Candace said, wait. Perry dot 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 talks. They tried it on a neighbor's cat. I don't like being called Fluffy. My name is Sir Wh They even took it to school for show and tell. Kids lined up with their pets. Dogs said things like, I want belly rubs. Please don't dress me in sweater. A turtle blinked slowly and said, Can someone explain why humans run everywhere? The teacher was amazed. You didn't just build a gadget too. Gave animals a voice. Ferb added, and kids learned empathy. Understanding what others feel even animals is superpower thinking. Phineas smiled. And we just used simple machine learning with labeled sound files. Anyone can try 